Hello everyone, this is Lawrence of Devon Co. We're doing my weekly uh, blog this week. Um, a lot of people ask me what's happening with Rolex prices. Well, they're just going crazy. The trouble with Rolex at the moment is that everyone has got in on the game. Anyone who's got a few quid is buying Rolexes and selling Rolexes. And the trouble is because there's no supply, the prices have just gone up and up and up. And people are just paying any money to get a thousand pounds on top and it's just driving the prices up now i'm going to give you for instance now i bought this last week as you can see this is the rolex um one one uh, six six one oh lv which is commonly known as the kermit it's the green dial with the green bezel the kermit with papers there's the rolex card um and i have sold one of these in um what we're we looking at august was the last one i sold these i sold that for fifteen thousand pounds uh, I've just sold that for £2,000 more uh, and it took me probably 20 minutes to sell and I could have sold it four times over. It's such a desirable watch. Looking online, I could have got 20 grand for that, but I just like to earn a little, little bit on top and I like to keep my regular customers happy as well as I'm happy to serve anyone and become part of our little in-house stable. I also like to look after my regular. So this was a regular customer who wanted this and I, I sold that and just earned a couple of grand out of it. So it's not a hard day's work for me and it's um, turning money over. But I could have been greedy and I could have held on. Why is that worth 20 grand? I don't know. All I know is there is none. There's none about. You go online, uh, I've been on Chrono with it. There is a few. Uh, you're buying from abroad. If you buy from abroad, because we come out of the EU now, you're going to pay 20% tax. So if I'm buying that from America, even if I'm buying it from France, I'm going to pay 20% tax. So even if I bought that for 15, 20% on top of 15 is, is 3,000 pounds, 18,000. So I'm on a few watch groups, on the, in the UK watch groups. And all I see on there, what's this worth? And people are answering, whatever you want to pay for it. And basically that is it with Rolex. Any desirable Rolex, any sports model is flying. The only one that's not is a Rolex Explorer. It's slowly creeping up, the Explorer 2. The white face especially, they're getting eight, nine grand now, but they were really slow to go, but everything else is silly. i to tell you a little story. Uh, I've got a customer who was after a watch. They were after just, they just 41, stainless steel, but they like the Wimbledon doll. In the stainless steel, so it's the grey, stainless steel, grey doll with the little green Wimbledon, they call it Wimbledon things on it, yeah? Because Rolex sponsored Wimbledon. She went into her local watches of Switzerland, they said they put it on the list, it's 22 on the list, it can be at least two years. It's a grey 41mm Rolex date just 41. It's not a watch that, you know, everyone's crying after. It, it, it's ridiculous. Rolex are doing it to themselves. They are driving the price up because they're not meeting the supply. They met the supply, the second hand market will go like that. It's like the housing market, there's not enough houses, so all they do is going up. Same with Rolexes at the moment, you cannot buy a Rolex. Even, a, even if you want just a basic Rolex date just you probably got to wait a month to get one. The, the whole game is ridiculous. And I'll be the first to say it, and I, I trade in Rolexes. Rolexes is my number one trade. But the game is ridiculous. I look at it and I just think, they're getting silly money. So, what can we do about it? We can't do nothing. We are just, I'm, I'm just a trader. The public can't do nothing. It's up to Rolex to meet the supply. And they're not going to do it. They're governed by the Swiss laws, which means they can only work 48 hours in one week. So they're never going to up their production. And don't forget, Rolex are worldwide. They're not just interested in the UK market. They've got America, they've got China, they've got, they've got India, they've got everywhere in the world, you know. It's a, it's a commodity that you can trade. You can, listen, you go on holiday and you're short with a few quid and you've got a Rolex on, you can walk into any Rolex dealer and you can sell your watch. That is why Rolex is a worldwide commodity. And that is why the prices are going up. It's supply and demand. It's the old economics. So I thought I'd show you that. I will put it up. Uh, just to show people that I had one and make God, you know, God willing, I will get another one soon. Um, it's a lovely watch. Uh, I think the prices are going ridiculous, but I cannot see this, this model dropping. I think it will be, I know I've seen it for 20 grand, but I think this will be 20 grand by the end of the year anyway. So it's just going up and up and up because there's no way you'll be able to buy them from Rolex. So that's my blog of the week. It's my little moan of the week. You know, I'm in the game. And I want to be everyone to have supply and demand because you know you, why, why shouldn't you if you've got a few quid be able to walk into Rolex and buy a watch? You know it's it's ridiculous. So I'm going to sign out. I've had my little moan and thank you very much.